I'm Todd, and we're here in EDPN. Surprisingly, we have not been canceled yet. yet. We have a great show for you to hear today in the Dungeon Games, where we have a great competitor. He's dishing out the punches left and right, left and right. Yes, he uses a great strategy. He blocks with his shield and strikes with his sword. Yes, this is a great, great strategy. We have a man on the field. We are going to take you there in a short few minutes. But first off, we have to tell you a brief description of what he's been doing so far. Okay, we got the roof right here. This is where Link is. He enters right here. See this right here? Well, there's an eye right here. Eye. He shoots the arrow. Right there. Okay, right. and then he has to come over here into this little passageway right here where he's got, oh man, multiple guards. Oh, oh, oh. And then he has to come up here. This is where the torch is right here. He has to light it on fire. And once he does that, this door over here opens and he goes out. And that's his strategy so far. Back to you. I hate you, Todd. Ooh. Is it hot in here? Is it just it's me? It's just you. We have a man on the field, on the spot with Link now. Marvin Marvin. Marvin Marvin? Yes, that is his name. You really don't want to be here, do you? Absolutely not! Let's go to Marvin now! Thanks, Doug! My name's Phil. I don't care! Marvin, can you give us a summary on what you've discovered today following Link? I'm here in the famous dungeon where Link has been traversing about, solving puzzle after puzzle, going back for keys, coming back with the keys, and unlocking doors. You, you should have seen it. You should have seen it. There was a torch on one end of the room, and it was lit. And then there was a torch on the other side of the room, and it wasn't lit. He had to take a stick and light it from the one torch, and light the other torch, and then the door opened. It was amazing. It's very interesting. Marvin, can you tell us how close Link is to completing this dungeon? And what do you- Hold on, guys! Hold on! Hold on! You don't even know. Link is about to open a chest. Who knows what could have been on the inside of that thing? Oh my gosh! Light is emanating from this chest, you don't even understand. I can barely even see. Marvin, do you think you can move the camera so we can see what you're seeing? I would love to, but no! My cameraman has unfortunately stepped out for the moment to go to the bathroom. This is the most unfortunate timing, and he is the one who turns the camera, and unfortunately, he cannot. I would do it myself, but I'm unbelievably captivated by what I am seeing. I wish you could see it. It is unbelievable. Marvin, where did you get those sunglasses? I have no idea. My cameraman has returned. Now that the camera guy's back, can you get a shot? My cameraman tells me that if he turns the camera towards this, the camera will explode. It will actually explode. And here's the man of the hour, Link himself. I see that you got the Megaton hammer out of that chest over there. What are your comments about the situation? Uh, Marvin, we're not getting any sound input. Do you do you think you can check the mics? Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Link, could you please repeat that? Fantastic! That's very interesting. Thanks, Marvin Marvin, for those interesting insights. Well, now that Link is almost done with this dungeon, it won't be long until they face the big man himself in the big, 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 dare I say it again, big battle on top of Hyrule Castle against Ganondorf himself. You know, it is unfortunate that he got this far. We'll have to kill him, sir. True, true. Can I have tights? Boris, you may have his skin if you want it. I want the head. I want the head. But we must prepare! He shall fall! You're holding a remote, sir. Not the sword. Yes. Of course. But you know what? Even the remote has power. Amazing, sir. Yes. I thought so. 